oh hey oh hey oh hey welcome back to my channel today in this moment we're going to be talking about keeping track of your accomplishments hey welcome back to my channel my name is janelle make sure that you subscribe hit the like button if you're feeling this entire vibe and don't forget to share leave a comment so we can discuss and follow me on all of my social media platforms. So in this video, I really wanted to talk about keeping track of your accomplishments, specifically your everyday life. And I say that because as a busy mom of four, many times I feel like I'm just not doing enough. I'm not getting a lot done. And sometimes the day just goes by and I'm so deep into the task that I'm taking care of that I overlook everything else that I've done throughout the day. Now, I know a lot of people who work two jobs and have families. I know a lot of people who have two jobs, influence, and just work on building their business. Everyone's life and situation is different. But I think that making sure that you keep track of your accomplishments, big and small throughout the day, can be very helpful. It can really uplift your spirits and it can give you some motivation to keep going so where does that derive from some weekends i feel like i'm just getting up and going i'm not really in the moment because i have a long list of things that i want to accomplish and i have to move fast and take care of them so that i can move on to the next task nine times out of ten along the way i write down what i accomplish so for example throughout my day I'm not focusing on just one thing. I am making sure that I put a load of laundry in the washing machine. I make sure that I take the clothes out when they're done drying and I give them to the kids if it belongs to them so that they can fold, sort, and put away, okay? I make sure that I give myself the time that I need, whether it's praying, whether it's journaling, whether it's creating and editing content, whether it's just watching TV and disconnecting from all electronics, or just spending time with my family. Now, all those little things that I mentioned, including loading the dishwasher, including picking out the kids' clothes, vacuuming the house, all those household duties and individual personalized duties, I write it down. Because at the end of the day, what you want is to be able to remind yourself that you do more than what you may believe. And sometimes when you're in the weeds of taking care of business, you get so lost in it. Let me know if you can relate to what I'm saying. Like I said, I'm such a busy body. And even today and in this moment, I think I didn't do enough. When I take a step back and I really think about what I've done, I've already loaded two loads of laundry and the clothes are done. The kids helped me by cleaning up their rooms and cleaning up their play area. I cleaned up my living room. I was able to help baking cookies. I started cooking dinner and putting it on the stove, you know, and I also gave me some me time and I gave myself the time and attention that I needed. So I say all of that to say that even if you feel like you do nothing, take the time out to just write down your accomplishments. Start by taking a piece of paper putting some tape on it, stick it to the refrigerator, stick it to the kitchen counter, put it in a place that you have to pass by on numerous occasions. And after stopping by, write something down. It can be as small as you woke up and you stretched. You woke up and you prayed. You woke up, you prayed, you stretched, you brushed your teeth, you made breakfast, you took a shower. Those little things are accomplishments accomplishments don't have to mean very big things accomplishments can mean i went grocery shopping i cooked dinner i folded all my clothes for the week for work accomplishments can be i went to church and i prayed or i went to my church within my home i prayed and took that time out i washed my hair i recorded content or i worked on my business plan start off by just acknowledging the things that you do on an everyday basis. It allows you to inhale, it allows you to exhale, and it allows you to just know that you are doing a lot. It uplifts you when you feel like you haven't done enough. 
with that being said let me know if you guys can relate you know sometimes it just feels like i'm not doing a lot but then when i sit down and write what i get done i am doing a lot right now i'm gonna edit this video and put it out and after I'm done, I'm going to finish cooking dinner, I'm going to work out, and then I'm going to play Uno and watch a movie with my kids. So today, for me, has been productive. It's okay to start a to-do list at the beginning of the day, but make sure that you break that down into realistic goals. Long to-do lists can be overwhelming. Long to-do lists can make you feel like you're never going to get anything done. If you're going to do a to-do list, be realistic. Break it up within a day or two break it up within the day morning afternoon nighttime break it up do whatever you need to do to make sure that the list that you create doesn't overwhelm you and if it does break them down even more so that you can feel like you can accomplish them if you're putting too much on your plate it's going to be overwhelming it's going to be tiring you're going to be drained you don't want that stay balanced don't clutter your mind Try to take it one moment at a time. Try to take it one task at a time. Be gentle with yourself. I myself know that I can create a to-do list at this moment that can be two pages long. But is that realistic? No, it's not. It's not because I know each task will take time. And I'm not trying to spend all night long trying to get this accomplishments done and just have zero energy at the end of the day. Yes, live in the moment. Yes, do it now so that you don't have to do it tomorrow. But just be gentle with yourself. Take your time, create realistic goals, and uplift yourself by tracking your accomplishments throughout the day. Because honestly, whether you're a person that does a lot or a little bit, those moments where you can look at that piece of paper at the end of the day and see all that you've done is helpful, it's motivating, and it can just keep you going. So... Peace of positive vibes. I hope that you were able to take something away from this video. Creating accomplishments for me on a daily basis. I don't always write it down on a list. I've gotten to a point where I can just replay it in my mind. If I feel like I'm not doing enough, I take a breath. I sit down and I think, okay, what have I done today? And it helps me. It helps me calm my nerves. And it helps me and puts me in a perspective where I am not so hard on myself. Let's talk about all of these things. Leave me a comment down below. Share this with someone you feel does a lot all the time and or just puts too much pressure on themselves. Share it with everyone because everyone can take something from this video. Peace of positive vibes. I will catch you guys next time.